New game. Continue. Chapter 3 Justitia Follow me, Wade. Follow me through the flames. You'll hear a lot of voices, but only one of them is the right one. Move in the direction of each voice until you find it. Before, there, there was just one of you. Now there are many of us. You burned us. You burned us. I don't know what you're talking about. But you do now. And now we'll kill you, George. Hey. I didn't want. Maybe. Maybe it isn't too late. Maybe to make amends. Come on, boy. Come on. We're almost done. Yeah. So you have a plan. Uh, you know who to start with? Yeah. I got an idea while you just lay there asleep. Oh, let it go. <sighs> Had a terrible night. Just the usual dream. Doesn't matter. Have you seen Fair Spring? The Marshal was right. It's a great town. Now yeah, you're starting to talk about pointless things. Show me some respect, boy. I ain't ever missed a shot in my life. Fair Spring has got everything, but not a single bank. We'll found a bank here, and that'll attract Justitia. You old bastard. <laughs> I was hunting scumbags long before you were born. It's perfect. Justitia operates in this area. He won't say no to a brand new bank full of money. And we'll be there, waiting for him. I don't like it. We have to find some fool who's gonna agree to be our bait. I'm done. Never you mind. We'll find someone. We should at least warn the authorities in Fairspring. Now you're thinking straight again. Let's go right away. Ooh, whoa! Asshole! You almost killed me! I'm sorry. They're about to attack. Who? God, who's attacking you? Those bastards from Winterberg. Globe Jones. I represent the law here in Fairspring. You look like two guys who could help us. If we promise you a little money. A lot of money, Mr. Jones. Give us a hand against those assholes. And you'll be well rewarded. We're at your service. Take the wagon and follow me. Those bastards are from the city next to ours. They pay mercenaries to attack us and envy our wealth. Okay. Mr. Jones, we don't want explanations, just money. Sure. They're coming! You're being chased. Watch.
watch out for the enemy's move. You can only hit them when they stop. If you shoot at the right moment, you won't get hurt. Visit me later for your reward. This is for you. Thanks, Sheriff. Actually, I ain't a sheriff. The Winterberg men have killed too many of them. So we decided to stop electing them. I've come forward to protect my people. So, Fairspring doesn't have a legal representative. We handle justice by ourselves, son. Stay with us. You could be of great help. We could pay you... That's enough! Enough, Loeb! We can't take it anymore! This time, they were yours! Your men raid my land! Perhaps the Marshal was wrong about Fairspring's tranquility. You know that ain't true, Mrs. Tooth. We're civilized around here. It must have been the men from winter. Oh, God! Stop it with the usual litany! My hill knows no peace! It's you and them. Just because we are on the border of two fucking towns doesn't mean we have to continually suffer at the hands of both! Fuck, Mrs. Tooth! It's you who wants to stay there! I've told you before that land is dangerous. And maybe you should stop serving those sons of bitches, too. There'd be no problems if you just did business with us. I can't fault some hothead from Fairspring when you sell in Winterberg, too. Lope Jones, we've already talked about this, and I do not accept them. It's you who should stop. Uh, what the fuck? You're hurting me. <sighs> All right, why the hell have we moved away? Because I got another idea, and you better listen to it. Remember what the stranger told me. Oh, God. You've already told me a thousand times, Drake. I ain't a kid anymore. But this time it makes sense. Think about it. Looking at things from above to understand them. The stranger only managed by looking at things from above. So? So you'll accompany that girl to her damn hill and defend her ranch. I'll go to Winterberg and take care of them. My plan to capture Justizia will only work if we bring peace here. At the cost of many slaughtered men. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, old man. I'll worry about these guys and you take care of the others. And Justitia will fall into the trap. But remember, at least for now, we shouldn't reveal our intentions. Come on, let's start with those two. I'm telling you, I don't have much 
much money to give for your help? <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Tooth. Just my duty. If your land is so good, well, you can give me some of what it produces. Call me Dolly. Now, careful not to get lost. Follow me. to make your acquaintance. Y you know, we really need... Come on. I'll show you to your room. Thanks, Wade. Are you sure you don't want to rest? Uh, that's what I'm here for. Oh, don't worry. If they come tonight, they will find me awake. And your brother, Alec. I don't want him to take part in this absurd war. He works on the ranch all day. And he writes the local newspaper. Really? The newspaper? Yeah. He really loves his job. He writes a lot. He says that what he publishes will put an end to the hostility between the two cities. You know, he's never been violent at all. But I'm worried about him. I'm terrified of losing him. You talk as if that already happened to you. Well... The loved one? My father. He was from Windsorburg. My mother died when we were very young. He took care of me and my brother, protecting us. He 
founded the ranch by himself. He didn't understand the hatred between Fairspring and Winterberg, this ridiculous dispute. He wanted to unite the two towns with his work, to overcome the divisions. He was very peaceful, just like Alec. Then, then. Hatred doesn't forgive, at least not around here. People didn't look favorably on his peacemaking mission, and some mercenaries slit his throat. The sheriff at the time did nothing about looking for the culprits. He told me that these things happen. I'm oh, sorry. Did they also kill someone you cared about? <sighs> no. Maybe it's me who's killed many people dear to others. For me, well, it would have been hard. I never met my parents, you see. Sometimes I wonder if I ever had any. You see, maybe we're the same in this regard. Neither of us has an old man to protect. And that gentleman you work with? <laughs> Just a dear friend. Whoa, hear that? Put out the fire. The oxes! They're bellowing! If they take them away, it's over! All right, I'll go. You stay here. Never. At least I will take you as far as their fence. Then take a gun. This way. Come on! We must take them all away from that bitch. Take the herd away, those bastards! I'll take care of it, Dolly. You stay here. This damn war! You mustn't leave this spot. Understood? I want to avoid a fight, Dolly. It was this war that killed my father. Do you understand? And now, they want to ruin us! Bastards! Bastards! Dolly, no! It's that bitch! She's there! Bastards! Bastards! Uh. Oh shit! Shit! Back here!
God, you want to get us killed? Sorry, I... Oh, we just can't take it anymore, Wade. Dolly! Dolly! Uh, Alec, come on. Come here. Uh, I heard shots. What happened? <sighs> well, some of your friends from Fairspring or Winterberg try to steal your herd, but it's all over now. Okay, come on. Let's see if the animals are okay. delivered all the crates. The first spring store always buys a lot. Alec? He's out delivering his newspaper. <laughs> Let's go to Loeb Jones. Alec usually visits him. I told him to stay away from those people, but he always says that you can only do good by changing the ideas of those in charge. Follow me. Dog. Like that, eh? Happy now? Enough, Lope! Enough! Please! Stop it! Go away, Dolly. This time your brother deserves a lesson. Enough, Mr. Jones. It's not worth it. That's enough. What the fuck do you want? Ain't none of your business. You've... you've beaten him senseless. He deserved it. This son of a bitch is ruining Fairspring's reputation with his newspaper. He writes falsehoods. I want to control that damn print shop of his. Mr. Jones, the Tooths do nothing but good. You should thank them for still being here. After what you did to them. You come to tell me what to do, boy? 
In my town, I do what I want. Is that fucking understood? <clears throat> Sorry, you were close. Bastard. How you doing? I feel better. We must take him home and help him recover. Yeah, I'll let him on the wagon. Don't think that's the end of it, boy. It's not over. You can't hit Fair Springs Protector and get away with it. If you want to take the Toof's property, you can try, Mr. Jones. You can try. I'll be there. My father's mission. All right, let's help him get in. You'll get better. You'll see. Uh, wait! Look over there! Who are they? It's Loeb. I hear his man. Curse it! You recovered quickly, Jones. You challenged me, boy. I'm here to take what's mine. I'm not recommending it, you mad dog. Or the young tooth won't get out here alive. Leave my brother alone, you bastards! What do you want, Lobe? You want my land? Our property? Us? Dolly, go inside. Take Alec away. No! Let's go! Your favorite horse. Nobody move. Stay where you are. See, Dolly, I want exactly what you said. I want this land. I want its riches. I want you to leave this place. Fair Spring can't put up with you anymore. You're alone. No one follows you. Me? Alone? Look at these men, Wade. They're here because they won't tolerate the Toof's lack of respect anymore. They want us to take back what is theirs. They're just men paid to follow you. The town wants the Toof's, like Winterberg. I'm sure of it. No one likes this war. What the fuck do you know? You're just an asshole who can shoot. I'll show you how the law of Fairspring deals with the likes of you. You're not the law, Mr. Jones. You're nothing. Dolly! <sighs> Alright, come on, Alec. I'll help you get back inside. 
Now what will you do? Drake. The old guy is with me. Now go to Winterberg. That's where he is. We have a mission to accomplish, and I believe you can help us. So, everything settled over there. Yeah, the inhabitants of Fairspring finally decided to elect a serious sheriff. And two peas of tooths. Well done, Wade. I knew you could do it. And the idea of using that boy's newspaper to spread the news of the new bank across the county. Well, good work. I told you, you're getting old. Too many compliments. It's not like <laughs> you. Maybe I'm getting soft. It was difficult here as well. But after five deaths, they understood the importance of peace, and of that fucking hill, which gives it so much godly grace. We can move on to the next phase. <laughs> Not yet. We're missing the sucker to put in the bank. Ah! Ah! Huh. Well, didn't you say it was all sorted out? Help me, please! Fuck. Please! They want to kill me! Who? They're armed! They want to kill me! Strick, they're, they're coming! Over there. You're dead! Get down!
and you called it spread in peace. You can't blame me for those four frenzied assholes. There were more than four. The important thing is that everything is okay now. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. You saved poor Hank's life. You know, Hank, if someone chases you like that, I mean, they're violent here, but you, come on, what'd you do? Oh, nothing important. A misunderstanding. Look, Hank, I don't think we'll let you go. You don't tell us exactly why you were being chased by a fucking firing squad. Well, see, they call me Shining Hank. Like my traveling show. I sell this. Hank's Shining Elixir. Which cures people from almost all the evils of our time. The point is that those guys said I was a swindler. That I wanted to cheat them. Animals. Wild beasts. I said that the elixir doesn't give guaranteed results, but at that point... They just wanted someone to let off some steam. I'm starting to think those guys were right. Don't say that even in jest. They're animals. They don't understand my art. The perfection of my elixir. You know, Hank, I also see it how Wade does. But you're a good salesman. Let's say that we won't take you to the new sheriff. If you do us a little favor. Anything for my saviors. See, it's simple. Near here, there's a city named Fairspring. Know the place? Yeah. I've been through with my show. Now it so happens that me and my partner are setting up a new bank there. Actually, a trap for a dangerous son of a bitch we're looking for. And well, you look like the perfect cashier. What? Oh, no, no, no. I certainly can't do that. Yes, you can. You'll be there to welcome him and the bastards who follow him. So that when the son of a bitch arrives, he won't suspect a thing. And in return, we won't report you. Consider it a way to pay us back. So, Mike. Uh, you see, gentlemen, I believe this... Bastard! This really isn't possible! <laughs> You still there? You're crazy! You wanna kill me? Bastard! You're crazy! You still there? You wanna kill me? Fuck! You don't give up! You want to kill me? Fuck! You don't give up! You're crazy! Bastard! You want to kill me? You still there? Fuck! You don't give up! Bastard! You're crazy! Fuck! You don't give up! You still there? You want to kill me? You're crazy! Bastard! You still there? Fuck! You don't give up! Ah! 
I won't steal you, asshole. Okay, Hank. Okay, Hank. No, please. I just want an answer. Uh, you accept? I can only say yes. <laughs> I knew you were a reasonable man, Hank. <clears throat> Sleep in a cell in Fairspring. In a cell? That's right. If you so much as try to escape, the uh, last elixir will be for the devil. Oh, God. How many days have passed? Don't complain. Waiting is the best part. Enjoy it. It's your fault we're stuck in this fucking town. I already told you to show me some respect, boy. Yeah? It's time. Sheriff, you spotted them? Yeah, it's them. In the distance. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and Hank? I <laughs> stuck by his ass all the time. I never thanked you for my election. Actually, here in Fairspring, we're all grateful for what you did. Yeah, okay. But you head off now. Go somewhere safe. We'll handle this. Follow me, Wade. Come on, Wade. I'm here. What are you doing? Come on, Wade. the bar, old man, and don't let anyone in. And you lot don't leave this place, if you value your lives. I'm here! Get moving! I'm here! Come on, Wade! I'm here! Come on, Wade! Get moving! Come on, Wade! I'm here! What are you doing? Get moving! What are you doing? Come on, Wade! Get moving! I'm here! Get moving! What are you doing? I'm here! What are you... Come on, Wade! What are you doing? I'm here! What are you doing? Come on, Wade! Get moving! What are you doing? I'm here! Come on, Wade! Get moving! I'm here! What are you doing? Come on, Wade! Get moving! They're arriving. Fuck! 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 Do what they tell you, and follow the plan. 
Nothing's gonna happen to you, Hank. And no false moves, or I'll kill you before Justitia does. So, this is the new Fairspring Bank. Well, welcome to Fairspring Bank. Uh, how? How can I help you? <laughs> Go get everything you have or you're dead. Come on. R r right away. But don't shoot. Please. Great job, Hank. <laughs> Stop. <sighs> It's over, Justitia. Yeah, boys. Drake Far. Do we know each other? <laughs> oh, Drake Far. Something with him is wrong. He's worth more alive. Don't shoot. Bastards! Who we'll raised this tail to the ground? We need to catch him. You are! You massacre anyone you find alive? Those sons of bitches are mine. Greg, he has others with him. Far, far, far! You and the other asshole won't make it out alive. You handle it. I'll take care of the others. And don't kill Justicia.
It's the end of the line, Justitia. It all ends here. How about I let you live, if you give me the man who's with you? <laughs> Don't look like you can give orders now. Give me Drake Farr! Why him? He killed my father. Well, he's killed many men. Oh, <laughs> but you must remember the name Lowell Crouch. Killed like a dog. Wait. Crouch? Who terrorized Eagle Path County some years ago? That was your father. One of the most fearsome men in the country. We were always together. Everything I do is for him. Crouch's son. But... But your name is John. Right? How do you know? That day you fled from your father's hideout, didn't you? You ran away. You were there too! You were with him, weren't you? You, you were with him! You saw him die! Your father was worth a lot of money. Alive or dead. That's all that matters to a bounty hunter. <laughs> well then, before I get too far, I'll have fun with your corpse. Son of a bitch, father of yours, are worth more alive. <laughs> well, I've done a lot worse. <laughs> he only failed against us. But I lend my men to every pleasure. Every weapon this last one was a wrench on the road of fair spring. <laughs> yeah. The Tooth's Ranch? You know, it, it was wonderful. <laughs> Before this. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, John, Drake didn't kill your father. <laughs> then who? I killed him. Chapter 4. Treason. <laughs> <laughs>